Hi, right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today's video will be something a little different. I've been playing this game for a little while called Apex Legends. I think everyone's gonna know what it is. So today I'm gonna be going over like some of the settings, like some of the best settings to use. It's, in my personal opinion, my best settings to use. It's not everyone's going to agree that everyone else is different. My mouse sensitivity is at four, and my aiming downside mouse sensitivity multiplier is at three. And my DPI, I have it at 600. My move forward the same as usual, like Fortnite. My sprint, same, jump, space, crouch, C, or left control. But here's where they get different. The tactical and all the shooting and everything. What I have is my tactical ability has this Q. That's the regular one. And, but my ultimate, I slide down on my scroll wheel. I feel like it's, very, it's, it's much easier than what it had before. Everything else is basically the same. But one thing I do have different is on the aiming down, aiming down side. Because I'm usually used to holding down something to shoot like Fortnite or how I had a controller. I had to hold it and shoot. I never liked the tap as aim because I don't know. Just, I never was into that stuff. But for the weapons, I switched from 1 and 2 to 4 and 5 on my mouse. It's because this is so much easier because my thumb is just right there, so I have to go with my fingers, go click one and two. Because my fingers on Fortnite, I don't have, I don't even use regular one, two, three, four, five. I use my custom keybinds that I am comfortable with. So I use these two because since we're not, you can't build on here, nothing. So I use those, those two, and it's much easier for me. And I'm pretty sure it'll be easier for you guys too if you guys are having troubles hitting one and two. But if not, go ahead, use one and two, whatever you guys are up to. People said the controller to put on response curve is to steady. That's what I heard to people to use. I went below 90 and it was super blurry. Do not go below 90. Um, I went above 90. It, did, it doesn't make a big difference, but you can still see how far and how close you want to be. But if you go below 90, you do not want to do that because it does make your screen a blurry a lot. All right, so for the model detail effects, detail impact marks and ragdolls, I have those at medium because it does take a lot of effect on your CPU. And if you guys do not have a good graphics card or processor and you start feeling laggy or you feel glitchy, I'll definitely turn these down. It doesn't really do much of an effect like how Fortnite is, how you turn everything low. It doesn't really make much of an effect, but I have them as this. It's probably the best thing I've used. And it comes as something that you guys should try out. If you guys don't like it, you know, always you can go to high. If you guys have that great CPU or a great graphics card, Go to high. If you can handle it, go ahead. I'm not telling you guys that you guys have to do this. This is just, in my opinion, what's the best for some people that have the, not of a great graphics card like myself. So that's gonna be the end of the best sensitivity and settings of what to do and, wh and what you should put. I'm gonna be leaving some highlights of what I was doing earlier. And if you guys did, leave a like and subscribe. Peace.
抱。